Everybody in my community were educators. Wonderful. And my dad and my mom and everybody kept saying, you know, son, we don't have any money. You'll never make it in the business world. Okay, so go to Grambling, get a teaching certificate, and come back and teach school. And I was bound and determined to be a business person. But I had a fraternity brother of mine who uh, I was at the University of Michigan and working very hard trying to get that PhD to follow in what they told me, and that uh -huh. is to uh, get that degree. And I was two courses short of my PhD and, and the dissertation. And uh, I had a fraternity brother who said, I've watched you, I've known you over the years. Let me teach you the car business. And I said, oh, no. That'll never work for me. I said, you know. Why? Well, car dealers, for the most part, represented what I thought at that time were individuals who wore the big plaid jackets, stretch knit pants, talk fast, mm -hmm. smoke cigarettes. And so the whole image really just did not didn't fit work me. for you. Okay. No. So that being the case, he said to me, well, I understand. He said, but I'd like for you to go over to Detroit. We went to Ann Arbor, Michigan. And he said, I want you to visit a couple of dealerships. Mm -hmm. I did went back and he said, what did you see? And I said, well, I really thought I'd kind of walked in Wall Street, you know. I saw a young man over there with very nicely attired mm -hmm. uh, suits and bow ties and they were doing really great things. And he said, that's why I really think this would be good for you. And so I looked at about 10 years of his financial statement and I could see, the, could obviously see the cyclical nature of the business, sure. the ups and downs, mm -hmm. and to me it said, you know, there will be good years and there will be bad years, but um, all in all, with him as my mentor, and who said to me, if you come in here and let me teach you this business, mm -hmm. in five years you'll be a millionaire. I went back and I said to him, I said, Mr. B, what, what department will I manage? And he said, First of all, you can't manage what you don't know. So Good advice. I said, okay. I said, so what would I do? He said, first of all, uh, you can come in and start selling cars, and I'll let you do that for a year. And I said, no, that's not for me. Did you find that intimidating, the thought of well, selling cars? Well, no. I, I, for me, at that stage in my life, I was directing a program at Michigan. Mm -hmm. I taught graduate students in the School of Social Work. And of course, trying to get that PhD done, right. it was truly a step back. Mm -hmm. But what he said was, was that in order for you to take that step forward, you really need to learn the business. And let me teach you how this business really runs. That's how I got started.